Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. Chit chat with everyone. If you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, you guys, let's get into your reading from now through the middle towards the end of November. You're starting off with the mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationship reflects our wounds, introspection. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. You have twin flames. Okay, wow, Virgo. Yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. Okay, looks like you're seeing yourself in a twin flame connection, talking, talking with your twin flame coming up very soon okay you know I don't usually do the whole twin flame thing but yeah it looks like it's showing up here um, interested conversing more with your twin flame and awaited a, an awaited message arrives a text a call an email um, you're gonna be hearing from someone your other half the person that you mirror the person that mirrors you um, if you don't know who this is this is not your message. If you know who your twin flame is, something's starting up here with your twin flame. Yep. Okay. There's a new love starting, new blessing, gift of love coming in between you and this person here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like a cleansing. A detoxifying, detoxification, healing, a cleansing in a relationship. Let's take a look here. Definitely communication. Oh my gosh. Virgo. Yes, you're going to be hearing from this person. Okay. They're going to be reaching out to you. Okay. Um, some of you, there's going to be snow on the ground. Definitely. There will be snow on the ground. <clears throat> either in your area or their area, or if you live in an area where there isn't snow on the ground, generally there's gonna be a strange snow on the ground situation happening here, okay. Um, okay, somebody, yeah, so I feel like you're a person, your twin flame is like seriously been thinking about you. Um, they have you on their mind during this time period a lot. They pretty much feel lost without you, left out in the cold, kind of like they feel like don't know what to do, kind of just broke, busted, and disgusted, pretty much like lost without you. Five of Pentacles to the seven. And skipped over the Six of Pentacles, which is a card of reciprocity. So they're missing that give and take between the two of you. Okay. Um, so if you already know who your twin flame is, there's definitely a connection happening for some of you. This is new, um, meeting your, your twin flame for the first time, mim mimicking, mimicking, what does that even mean? Mimicking each other, connecting with someone who like starting to talk with someone whom there's a recognition Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Okay. For some of you, there's an apology coming. For others, it's just like a lot of conversation going back and forth between the two of you. Some sweet text messages, some mild sweet text messages, flirting. Um, gosh, it's like so sweet. Okay. Okay. There's two. It's a two-part message. For those of you who don't have a twin flame this is a brand new person coming in for others of you that do have a twin flame there's definitely 
that person is definitely missing you and is feeling lost without you and wants to try to like manifest something here with you again so uh, they just said it's a two-part storyline now let's take a look at the new okay let's get more into this new person so yeah there's definitely an awaited message that's going to be arriving from somebody new and it's just going to feel right some communication over the internet perhaps coming a lot of talking with someone online virtual communication talking over the phone talking over the internet icq chat aol chat picto chat i don't know how you guys are talking but maybe you're talking on discord or maybe you're gaming or there's some type of communication it feels like it's an online thing okay um it's definitely gonna feel right right and just there will be plans made with this person to get together um yes it's a happily ever after kind of scenario with somebody new here i know that sounds so cliche but that's what i feel like is happening here okay um, a lot of travel involved as well so it's a long distance kind of thing now as far as someone who you already have a twin flame connection with where you guys there's like an abandonment thing going on this person thinking about you okay nine of cups that's the king of swords okay this person definitely wants to try to manifest some wishes here yeah put in the effort here whatever it takes come out of their comfort zone Okay, so it could be with someone who sits in some type of an air energy. Someone that you had a connection with before. <clears throat> okay, I don't feel like these are two things that are happening si simultaneously. Some of you had a twin flame connection in the past. And that twin flame is like whole, cold heartedly like stumped. They are missing you big time. They like are feeling lost without you and they're thinking about how they can manifest you back into their life, what they got to do, whatever it takes. They're, come, they're at the end of their rope here. They're struggling. They're exhausted. Heavy burden. They like are going to make that trip. They're going to do what it takes here. Come out of the comfort zone. Come and get you, you know, take a leap of faith of some sort, whatever the transition is they need to make here to make something work with you here they're ready willing and gonna do it motivated to do it for those of you that don't have a twin flame person from the past there's you're meeting a new twin flame you're meeting somebody new <clears throat> so it, it's good on both fronts now for those of you who don't want your twin flame from the past right here um you can't have both <laughs> that the message is if you don't want your twin flame from the past you're not going to meet a new twin flame it doesn't work that way you're just going to be off on your on your 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 nice pretty little horse there and just living your best life that's just it it's it's not you don't get to pick and choose what the universe brings you they pick and choose what they bring you you get to choose what you want and don't want but you don't get to choose what's coming towards you right um, you can choose whether or not to slam the door shut or whether to keep it open. Okay. So if you don't want someone from the past coming forward, then you don't have to take that. But that doesn't mean that you're going to meet a new twin flame. There's only one twin flame. Okay. 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 That's the message that I'm getting for that. All right. So I just feel like that's enough to tell you with that. Let me take a look at your energy here. Oh, that's it. Perfect. Just when I asked. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. What's going on with Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? Actually, they said, let's take a look here. What's going on with Virgo? You guys, just so you know, these Island Time wellness cards, I bought a deck that's white. So we're going to be able to see them a lot better. So keep your eyes peeled for that deck. That'll be coming soon. Okay. So you have girl talk or guy talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. Okay, Virgo. So it looks like you already know 
what direction you're going, what you're doing, you're, you're good. You're single sprinkle right now. Okay, let me see. Okay, you're not showing your true feelings. You're wearing a mask. You're hiding. You're pretending. You're keeping to yourself, okay? You're staying private. You're staying low key, off the grid. You're just putting on a mask. You're putting on a front. Protecting yourself, probably. Okay. Not really letting anybody in. Being selective with who you do let, let in. And you're seducing. <laughs> uh, flirting, dating, maybe hooking up. Being a temptationer. <laughs> um, Virgo, I just kind of feel like you are... I feel like I had this conversation the other day with you guys where... You just didn't seem like you were committing to anything right now in your life. Didn't I have a reading not too long ago? I think it was called You're Hitting Life Differently. It, maybe it was last week, the beginning of last week. It was um, October 16th, weekly reading. You can go back and check it out. I'll see if I can put it at the end here um, or a link in the description box below. But I felt like you were hitting life differently this week. Um or like, I feel like too, it's still happening. You're just pretty much like, not really, you're just choosing yourself. You're not making any strong, you're not chasing, you're not doing anything, you're just doing you. I guess you maybe you have a lot on your plate. You're just doing whatever you need to do to take care of yourself at this time. <clears throat> I don't have my microphone right now, you guys. Um. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, you've got the hangman. So you're pretty much just like it is what it is. Yeah, uh, whatever's meant for me is meant for me. And whatever isn't, isn't. And I don't give a shit. <laughs> you're pretty much, <clears throat> you're like whatever. Don't care. Don't care. That's the hangman right there. Well, you know what? I'm hanging from a tree right now. I can't seem to get myself. I don't have a knife. Can't cut myself down. So I'm just going to make the best of this until somebody comes along and cuts me down. I'll enjoy the birds. I'll listen to them. I'll listen to their song. Like, what am I going to do? Can't get out of it. <laughs> I might as well just make the best of my situation. That's pretty much your energy. You know, you're not stressing. You're not. But like I said, you got some kind of mask on. For some of you, this is just pretty much it could be as simple as. You're just trying to decide on a mask for Halloween. Maybe you're going trick-or-treating, you know, with kids or grandkids, or you're going to a Halloween party, you know. Um, maybe you're going to wear a seductive Halloween costume. Or just be yourself, which is seductive enough. But it looks like you're just kind of like, whatever. Yeah. Look at you. For sure. You're just so laid back. That might just be your personality. <clears throat> or you're embracing that aspect of yourself even more so now. You're just kind of like, whatever, I'm calm. It's so funny to you guys because <clears throat> I went and had an MRI the other day, right? Now listen, I don't know anybody who likes some things, but I had one in February and I had to get one last week. And I was just like, I hate getting, going in those things because I don't know if I'm claustrophobic, I guess. I guess you don't really know until you're like stuck in a hole. <laughs> right but I had to get in that thing and that 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 like tube was so small and then they put like they put me in like a hockey mask cage that went from the top of my head all the way down to like my mid rib cage I just got in that thing I was like I shut listen to the music I was like whatever it is what it is I don't give a shit just close my eyes <laughs> And, but the last time I got in, I was like, oh my God, I was saying the Our Father. I'm like, I don't want to be in this thing. And I was making myself worse. But I just was kind of like, before I went in, in this hangman energy, like, it's whatever. If I need to get out, I'll just press the button. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. What's the point of stressing about it? It's going to be over in like, I don't know, 40 minutes. What's the big deal? Plenty of positive things to think about. You know what I mean? And I kind of feel like that's your energy this month. Just, look, this was me in the MRI. <laughs> I was like, yeah, whatever. I just feel like <laughs> you're focusing on po like positive images, positive visuals. Positive thinking will bring you romance. I mean, it's so true. Um, 
like reflecting on things but not getting too deep not isolating too too much you know but being at rest not being restless yeah and i feel like that's bringing in all this energy now you know if you push it away you push it away but <clears throat> i feel like that's where all this love energy is coming in why it's coming in because you just are just like you're not stressing you're not uptight you're not being rubbed the wrong way it's just like hey it's all good whatever letting things just roll off your your back is pretty much the way to get through life really you just can't take everything so seriously you know and that might be your disposition already and you're just like yeah that's just reinforcing how i already am and for others it might not be your disposition your disposition might be to overthink or it might be to like go down rabbit holes or it might be just to worry too much about things you know and fret it doesn't look like it this month or at least starting from this this reading it's just like instead of thinking what's the worst that could happen i feel like your energy is well what's the best that could happen what's the best outcome for me and focusing on that yeah so much freedom in that oh my god there's so much freedom all right so there you've got the moon Devil in the reverse. Yep, there you go. Look at that. That devil in reverse is releasing the toxicity, freeing yourself from bondage, for sure. A lot of nighttime rituals. A lot of stuff happening. You're getting free at night, you know. The stuff you do at night, Virgo, that is is I don't know if you got some kind of routine that happens that or that you practice or something that you do at night. I don't know, maybe it's listening to this channel every night, Sunday through Thursday. Who knows? But there's something, it's connected to the moon. It's something um, that you do at night. So we got double Pisces and Capricorn there. There's something that you do at night that um, it's very instinctual that, that, that is actually releasing you from some type of chained energy. I mean, it could be a show of some sort that you're watching. It just gets you out of maybe some overthinking or something that you feel bound to. Nighttime is very freeing for you. It might be a time of relaxation. Yeah, I feel like it's it's like a time. Nighttime is very special. Something to do when the moon is out. So whenever you're able to see the moon in the sky, it's a very freeing time for you. It takes your mind off your worries, I feel. It does something to you. <laughs> your instincts come out, like your natural self. You're not civilized. You're not repressed. You're barking at the moon. <laughs> yep, let me see. Mm. Now you've got the Knight of Cups. Wow, look at that. Love will set you free. Oh my God, love is going to set you free this month absolutely so like i said it's november i'm sorry october 24th through november 24th you've got a love offer definitely coming in and like i said it's a twin flame so it's either one from before or it's a new twin flame coming in specifically i don't know you know who your twin flame is like i said you did have an air sign show up but there were no other court cards it could be another earth sign but i wasn't really asking you'll know when you know but the love is going to set you free, for sure. The, the proposal, the love offer, the romantic offer, there's something here that's going to set your heart on fire and just set you free from your your mental struggles. Because I feel like you got some kind of like, some imprisonment stuff going on there. That self-imposed type of prisoner. you know, Like that mental stuff. You're going to be free from that. Some, yeah. It's a twin flame coming in and making a love offer. 
for sure. I mean, it's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness. I'm going to tell you that. Who is your twin flame? Could be a year of the dragon. Let's see. Year of the goat. Year of the snake. Year of the rabbit. Goat again. Year of the tiger. Year of the pig. Year of the snake again. Year of the rabbit again. Ooh. Year of the pig. The pig, the goat, and the rabbit are very watery energies. So there's a lot of fluidity, fluid water type energies. And year of the ox. Okay, so they're born in one of those um, Chinese signs. Let's see what other messages you have coming in here for you, Virgo. It's a very romantic time. A lustful, fiery spirit. You're going to have to reevaluate your career as well. This love offer that's coming in. This might mean a job change due to uh, a love thing coming in. Relocation. Yeah, a lustful, fiery spirit. Physical passion. Definitely on the table here in this time period. Ooh, regret showing up here. Someone's coming in, has a lot of regret. Yep, there's that toxic devil energy. Okay, getting rid of that. Spiritual principles. Checking yourself before you before you wreck yourself. <laughs> wreck it, Ralph. You got money in the bank showing up here. Hitting rock bottom. Some of you definitely got to take a look at your career for sure. Like you might need to get a second job or change industry. Or just think about getting like a little part-time extra or something. Make ends meet. All right. And you're also being asked to take a risk here about something. Yeah. Remember I was saying the risk is pretty much, I feel, is to come out of your comfort zone. And your comfort zone is <laughs> to stress. <laughs> for some of you, I know some of you are pretty laid back, but for some of you, your comfort zone is to overthink. That's your comfort zone. You got to come out of that and just be like, it is what it is. It's kind of that Seinfeld. Be like Seinfeld. Like, hey, whatever. Oh, well. <laughs> Jerry's got the right attitude. Or he had. New love beginnings here. And it's all about you at this time. Loving yourself. This is awesome. I feel like your reading is just... Bing, bang, boom. It's so fantastic. It's like such a great start. I feel like I'm missing a deck. Am I missing a deck? Oh, you know what it is? I got rid of the Romance Angels. Did I put them away? Hold on. I think I did, but you know what? I'm going to just pull a couple of extra cards here. What else does... Spirit want Virgo to know. Okay, here's a King of Wands. So there must be something important. Now we have a King of Wands. Okay. Ooh, King of Wands is fantasizing about you. Masculine or feminine energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ooh. Definitely sees you as a goddess or a god. For sure. Libra, Taurus, energy. The Empress fantasizing all about you oh yeah nine of cups you are a wish come true for someone here tremendous wish come true big time reunion energy trying to make a decision balance weigh some options here about getting together and when is a good time yep take a leave of absence or come towards you to make these wishes, to manifest these wishes. Yep, there's the the fool. There's definitely a, 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 a risk, a leap of faith, this person. I feel like, oh my gosh, there's so much travel energy here. It's not even funny. I mean, there's definitely someone here who is, like, they don't even care if they fall off the cliff. Like, if they get hurt, they don't even care. 
I mean, this person, oh my gosh, the cards are just going everywhere. You have the Hierophant. I mean, this person is going to, this is like full on commitment. This person wants to commit. Like, do it, do right by you. Do the right thing. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, you are just it for them. You got everything. That's your card. You have everything that they need and that they could want in, in a person. You're set. You're like a catch to this person. And they're coming. Like, full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. There. Ace of Cups. Pretty much how it started. That is exactly how it started. Right from the beginning. I knew right from the beginning that you would end up winning. I knew right from the start you put an arrow through my heart. Round and round. And love will find a way, just give it time. There you go. Right the way it starts. It ends the way it starts. Love, 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 love. Okay. And that is pretty much on both sides. Okay. That is pretty much on both sides. So, you know, if you've got a twin from before, this person is, boom, I'm here. We're doing it. I'm ready. And if you have no twin from before, you have not met your twin from before, they're showing up now. Okay, so this is amazing. This is a fantastic reading. I feel like you deserve this. You deserve this message. And if you don't want any of it, <laughs> you're fine because you're just going to hang in your tree and enjoy the music from the birds, right? You're good. <laughs> you're good, aren't you? That's what you said, right? That's what you're doing. All right, let's get a couple of Scrabble. Get some names. See what shows up here for you guys. All right, we got Virgo and Aquarius, September 5th, Aries and Capricorn. We have Taurus and Aquarius again. Someone's born in July, someone's born in January. We have October, Virgo and Libra, Capricorn and Scorpio, one more. Libra and Scorpio. Okay. All right. September 12th. September 11th. September 4th. One more. September 2nd. Is that your birthday? Let us all know. Someone's 51. Okay. Someone is 61. Someone's born in 83. Someone's from Mexico. For some of you, this is an X. <clears throat> Aw, someone's visiting their mum, mummy, or it's gonna be a mummy for Halloween. <clears throat> okay, someone lives off of exit 13. Okay, September 13th, I just heard. Okay. All right, someone has a birthday in April. Someone's got a birthday in December. We also have a birthday in May and a birthday in August. Okay, someone's 52. Someone is 62. Someone September 18th. Born in 1984. Okay, 1982. Someone is 63. Someone is 54. And September 17th. Someone's having to take mucinex a little snotty letter h just slipped out okay initial j okay we have jess or jessica or jesse jest jester someone's being a jester or a joker for halloween just hearing tess tessica tess oh PJ, they just gave me the name PJ or JP. Okay. So I'm gonna get a couple of more here. Okay. Okay, the letter R, the letter H, 
the letter E, the letter W. Why is my camera going all crazy? Okay, letter X. Okay, we have Z, we have N as in Nancy or Nicholas or Nicole. We have the letter E. Somebody uses Nexium or Nexus hair products. X keeps showing up, you guys. Big, big X energy. Uh, or maybe somebody uses X, Twitter X. We have a Q showing up here as well. Okay, interesting messages there. Let's get some charms. Holy. All right, you've got a dragon. Dragon ring. Yeah. Enter the dragon, y'all. Okay, that's actually my ring. It wasn't supposed to be in there, but um, I threw it in there. It's part of a charm. So could somebody could be born in the year of the dragon. Dragon ring. Dragon wing. Dragon ring. Someone could be from Asia where there's dragons. Or you live in a town that's called dragons. Somebody gets a dragon ring. Let's see. Oh my God, what is this? Oh, okay, now you've got a moon. Cool, everything's getting stuck on my nails. So now you've got like a crescent moon. Kind of like, it's weird. You're getting some, like, you're getting some, like, I don't know, shapes. You're getting some, like, roundish shapes. Maybe somebody's name starts with a C. Crescent or quarter moon, significant for someone here. What else? All right. Getting a lot of round stuff. We also have a, uh, an anchor, a ship anchor. Significant for someone. Someone's on a boat. Remember I said there was going to be travel? There's a lot of travel. Uh, somebody could be in the Navy or traveling in the Navy during this month or at sea this month. Um, or someone is um, anchoring, <laughs> you know, staying put. That's a staying put kind of energy here. Dead weight, lead weight, not dead weight, lead weight, not moving. Wherever they go, they're staying put for sure. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave that message there. Um, somebody left a comment that the readings are getting shorter and shorter. And um, yes, the Sunday and the Thursday readings are a tad bit shorter uh, because they are the weekend and week day, week ahead readings that I said I was going to be doing a little bit shorter. I'm not doing full hours um, as much as I used to, you guys, just because I'm having just a little bit of some health problems, so my energy is fully drained. So I am trying to get at least a half an hour readings in for you, but if that's not a, if like that's a huge problem, you can always unsubscribe. I'm not going to chase you down and I'm not going to give you hell in the comments. Eventually when things change, I will be able to devote more energy. However, if you want to get more readings, there is also a daily reading on my Moon Pie Tarot channel. Those are not a half an hour, but you can always pick up a little extra reading over there. Okay. So thanks you guys. And I will see you all. And thank you for understanding my true fans and subscribers. I know I can always count on you to stick by me through thick and thin. And yeah, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Love ya. Bye. My heart